Hi friends, welcome back for our Bible stories at home. I am Miss Vicki and I will be providing this week's message for you for the children of the rock and anyone else who's going to be tuning into the message. So as always, we like to start with our opening prayer and then we get into our lesson. Um, so let's go ahead, pray how you feel led and just join me in our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this time to learn your words, to learn your message, to just learn the importance of how it is to follow you, Lord. You gave your only son for us so that he may die for our sins. And we are not perfect, Lord, but we pray that we continue to follow you and we stay on course of what you have planned for us, Lord, that we just continue to be loving and giving kind people of this world lord and as these children grow and mature to be teenagers and adults lord i pray that you just remain speaking into their lives and that they stay on the path in jesus name i pray amen okay so something that i was excited to um talk with you about before was the holy spirit and over the course of the past gosh maybe four weeks now or so We've hinted on uh, the Holy Spirit has been in our, our topics or I've given you more information about the Holy Spirit. So once again, today we are going to be discussing the Holy Spirit. So it's important that you have um, heard the message from last week because some of the names from last week are going to appear in this week so that you truly understand one of those names is going to be Philip. We talked about Philip last week. He was one of the people um, that was in the city talking about God's word after who was it? If anybody remember the name Stephen, he was stoned to death. If you have questions about who Stephen was, that goes back to the week before last. So just hope you guys are all staying, guys and girls are staying up to date on the videos um, so that as the story goes on, the names, uh, you remember those and you don't get too confused. So once again, we're going to be talking more about the Holy Spirit this week. We are still in Acts. We're going to be in chapter 8, verse 9 through 22. And we're going to learn about a new person this week. His name is Simon. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into the lesson. For some time, a man named Simon had lived in the city of Samaria and had amazed the people. He practiced witchcraft and claimed to be somebody great. Everyone rich and poor crowded around him. They said, this man is the power of God, God called the great power. For a long time, Simon had used witchcraft to amaze the people and they kept crowding around him. But when they believed what Philip was saying about God's kingdom and about the name of Jesus Christ, they were all baptized. Okay, so Philip, remember Philip from last week if you uh, tuned in. So I'll go back. So for a long time, Simon had used witchcraft to amaze the people and they kept crowding around him. But when they believed what Philip was saying about God's kingdom and about the name of Jesus, they were all baptized. Even Simon believed and was baptized. He stayed close to Philip because he marveled at all the miracles and wonders. The apostles in Jerusalem heard that some people in Samaria had accepted God's message, and they sent Peter and John. When the two apostles arrived, they prayed that the people would be given the Holy Spirit. Before this, the Holy Spirit had not been given to anyone in Samaria, though some of them had been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Peter and John then placed their hands on everyone who had faith in the Lord, and they were given the Holy Spirit. Simon noticed that the Spirit was given only when the apostles placed their hands on the people. So he brought money and said to Peter and John, Let me have this power too, that anyone I place my hands on will also be given the Holy Spirit. Peter said to him, you and your money will both end up in hell if you think you can buy God's gift. You don't have any part in this, and God sees that your heart isn't right. Get rid of these evil thoughts and ask God to forgive you. Okay? So Simon, a man who practiced witchcraft, he did get baptized. 
Yet, when he wanted to have this power of the Holy Spirit, so when he put his hands on people, they could receive the Holy Spirit as he had witnessed, he wanted to pay for it. The love and the miracles and the grace that we get from our from Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we don't have to pay for that. We will learn about tithing. That's something different. Um, but you don't buy that. You know, and so that's why... Peter said to him, you and your money will both end up in hell if you think you can buy God's gift. So to take that even a step further, I mean, you're, you guys are all young, right? You guys and girls, you're all young. So there's so much more in life to witness. You're going to come across people who will just want money so they can bless you. Um, God forbid that you ever encounter any of that or you fall for any of that. Um, but there, there's no payment far as money. You got to believe you have to accept Jesus Christ into your life. And if you want God's gifts, if you want to have the Holy Spirit, you can. There's no dollar or amount that you have to attach to what God will provide for you. Like I said, ties we'll talk about later. Okay. So that's important. That is very important to know that so if someone tries to sell you something in the name of Jesus Christ, run, okay? <laughs> run, go run to your Bible, go run to prayer, and let that open up your hearts and minds to what really needs to happen to receive God's gift, okay? Um, so our prayer starter for this week, Lord, keep me from loving money too much. And our memory verse the Lord's followers who had been scattered went from place to place telling. So we're going to pause there for our memory verse, which is from Acts chapter 8, verse 4. Going back to the prayer starter that says, Lord, keep me from loving money too much. You may hear people quote that the love of money is, or money is the root of all evil. You will hear people say, Money is the root of all evil, okay? If you never heard it, I promise you're going to hear it at some point in your life, okay? But that is incorrect. Money is not the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil, okay? So the love to just have the money, and when you love money, you do sometimes, you're persuaded to do the wrong things to get that money. So money isn't evil, the love of it can be the root of all evil because people will do bad things. They will do mean things to get money, okay? So once again, prayer starter says, Lord, keep me from loving money too much. Not to sway you from saying one day if you're ever offered a job for a whole lot of money, not to take it because you don't want to make too much money or you don't want to love it too much. Make your money. But don't let money be what you use to get everything in life the wrong way. Like Simon tried to pay for God's gift. That's not how it's done. So Lord, keep me from loving money too much. Okay? It's fine to want to have it. It's fine to want to have a, a nice amount of it. We all strive. We, we're all interested. I'm not going to sit here and say I wouldn't mind having more money. But I want to go about getting money the right way. I don't want to do the wrong things to get money. And I don't want the wrong things in life to make me who I am just so I can keep that money or keep earning that money. That's not what we want, okay? But having a lot of money doesn't make you an evil person. So I want you to hear that. Hear Miss Vicky, hear my heart, okay? Rich people aren't evil. <laughs> um, poor people aren't evil, okay? It's a love of money that can make you do the wrong things, okay? All right. So we're going to close out in prayer, and I'm going to wish you well for the week. Heavenly Father, as these young minds and hearts go on for this week, I pray that this word, this message really sinks into them, that they truly understand what it means about money, what it means about Holy Spirit, what it means about God's gift that they just go out and be a light in this world, Lord. We all have tough days. And with everything going on, with the 
with schools opening back up or schools not opening back up, I just pray that you be a light in these young minds and that you continue to keep their spirits high. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, friends. So if you haven't been to parking lot service, um, if you haven't made it yet, I've been there. Um, so if you can make it, I look forward to seeing you. We do not have individual classes set up for our age group just yet. But if you do end up coming to parking lot service, I look forward to seeing your faces. All right, go out, have a good week. I don't know if any of you are starting school soon or if it has started. I wish you the way, I wish you the best with that with your studies. Because if you haven't done homeschooling, I mean, which you probably have already for the end of last year, but I pray that it works out the best for you because it is a different obstacle. It is a different challenge or for some, it may be easy. So I love you all and I can't wait to see your faces. Bye.